Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect uh, properly these uh, soldering handles to the connectors in order to work with this uh, soldering station which I built in another video. I'm gonna put the link on the, on the description down below. So have a look also how I build the soldering station and on this video we're gonna understand how to connect the handles because it was uh, viewers that was asking me that I forget to show how to connect the wires to the connector in order to order with the soldering handles. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are going to start with the C245 or T245 soldering uh, handle, which is this one. So I'm gonna disconnect from the soldering station. I'm gonna put it aside the soldering station because we're gonna turn up uh, later on to show you also which modification I did in order to show me on display when I'm changing the tip. So yeah, let's uh, focus on the T245 soldering handle and uh, show you how to do all the connections. So we're gonna put aside also the T12 and we're gonna work on this one for the beginning. Okay, so let's open this soldering handle and uh, show you the wires and show you how to connect, uh, how to solder the wire to the connector in order to work properly with this uh, soldering station. So yeah, I'm gonna start undo these uh, two screws over here. And then just uh, undo like that the connector. We expose the wires and I'm gonna show you all the connection I, I did over here. Let's also open this side for like that you're gonna understand where this wires goes to be connected to the soldering iron, so iron tip. So let's start, take the iron tip first of all. Let's open this one like that and take this part. So here we go, the wires are over here. So if we are looking for this one, it's going to be red connected to the pin over here, blue connected to the middle pin, and the green connected to the to the big side of the the iron tip. So let's have a look to the connector, how it's going to be. So you can see here the connector, if you look like that from the connector, you're going to have starting from here the pin number one, two, three, four, five. And uh, if you look from here, we're going to start the one from here, so the one is the one that uh, you can see here is not uh, solder any pin to it. So this is the number one and then it's going two, three, four, five. So the, f the, the wire, uh, the red one is this one, so is the end one, which is this. So the red one is this one, so it's going to be connected to the pin number two. I can see here the pin number two is this one. So the one is free, so you don't need to solder nothing on the pin number one. So in the pin number two, we are uh, soldering the, the wire that comes to the end, to the pin that is the thinner one from the soldering iron tip. And then number three, it will going to be a jumper to number four, how you can see here. And then from the number four, we need to come with the green wire, which the green wire goes to be soldered to this pin over here, which is the big side of the iron tip, which is this one. And then we have pin number five, which is the blue one, and the blue one is the middle pin over here. And, and if you're soldering like that, you are gonna have when uh, this metal part touches the handle stand, we're gonna switch off the the power that comes to the iron tip in order to keep it just on 50 degrees, how you set up on, or maybe someone, uh, it's gonna set up in 200 degrees, whatever, you set up on uh, sleeping mode, because it's gonna go on sleep mode. Okay, so have a look also in this piece of paper, which I draw it here, how to connect everything. So bear in mind the connector is positioned uh, like so, from the side that you need to solder the pins on, not from the side that you looking from. So, that's the pin orientation, as you can see here. Pin number one, it's free, so no need to solder nothing over there. 
Then you have pin number two, which is the red wire, which is going over there. Then pin three and four is a jump it, and then a wire goes to the green ones, which is the big part of the tip for the T245. And then the pin number five is this one that goes in the middle, which is the blue one. If you go to purchase the same uh, soldering handle, which you're gonna find on the link on the description down below, that has this color on the wires. So now let's go to the T12 uh, soldering handle. So here we go. This is the T12 uh, soldering handle. How you can see here, it's a bit different. The iron tip as well has same three pins and same three wires come from it and if you are going to purchase this type of uh, soldering handle you're gonna have the same issue that i have because come with this type of uh, this type of connector which is not the same that our soldering station have and you need to remove it and then you need to find a connector that uh, is the same the one that the soldering station have and uh, soldering the the wires how i'm gonna show you now but there is an issue because this one looks like here is glued and you cannot open to understand where they go in the wires. So looking for the data sheet of this uh, type of uh, T12 uh, pin, uh, iron tip, it says that this is the positive wire, negative and uh, earth or ground. So yeah, so I presume that they use it red because there is a red, blue and green same colors like the T245. And I presume they use red for the positive, blue for the negative, and green for the earth. Because the green, it's much this one. I could measure only one wire. So the green is continuity to this part of the handle. So this means the green is the earth. So what I did, so following that instruction that the red, I presume, I'm not sure, but I presume they use it for, for the positive. So it will going to be connected over here. So this it will gonna be then how to solder all the wires here. So same, we have the pin number one, which is this one here, two, three, four, and five. So turning over, because you need to solder from this side, you're gonna have the pin number one, which is the one that nothing is soldered to it. Then you have pin number two that you need to put a jumper. You can see I have a jumper over there from the pin two to pin number five. So you need to jump those two wires together. Then you have the pin number three, which has a 10K resistor from the tin, pin number three to tin, pin number four. To the pin number four, you need to solder together the green wire and the blue wire. And to the pin number five, you need to solder the red wire. Like that, it will gonna work with the soldering station. So let's have a look now also in the paper because I say I draw also in the paper how to show you and then at the end you're gonna have also clear pictures that it will gonna leave it there for uh, let's see one minute so 30 seconds for the T245 and 30 seconds for the T12 to be more sure how to connect the wires so let me bring also the paper uh, the, the paper which I draw the the connections and show you how to connect so here we go this is the drawing for the t12 so we have the pin number one same as i say looking from the connector in this direction so here we have pin number one which is related to this side so pin number one nothing is connected to it pin number two how you can see there is a jumper to pin number five and from t pin number five is the red wire that goes to this point of the iron tip which is this point over there then we have the pin number three how you can see 10k resistor to pin number four and then from pin number four you join together blue and green which is go corresponded here and here and like that it will gonna work perfect with this soldering station so now let me connect it to the soldering station and do a trial to show you how they work both of them the t245 and t12 soldering iron t Okay, so let's have a look now how the soldering uh, iron tips is working with the soldering station. So you can see here we have already set up is this is the T245. As you can see here, uh, it's now in sleeping mode. 
and uh, when we are uh, removing this one it will gonna go to show me that is the C245 over here you can see a C245 and when I put it down there it's going the slipping mode and then when I go there to change the tip as you can see it show me that I'm going to replace the tip so now let me let me put the T2 for T12 and have a look how it's working with the T12 as well. So I connect now the T12 uh, iron tip. So let's see how it's working also this one. So I can see here we have uh, the T12 iron tip. So if I remove over here, I can see there it says T12. So it's the T12 iron tip. How you can see is there. And it's doing the same. When I touch it there, it's going sleeping mode. And when I go to, ch to, to go there to change the tip, it's telling me that I'm replenished the tip. So let me show you now how to wire the connector that comes from the soldering station to the soldering stand. And uh, like that, you're gonna have this uh, when you touch with the place where you need to change the tips. We're gonna show you on the display that you are changing the tips. And when you put it on the stand, it will gonna go in sleep mode. So here we go. I uh, already undo the soldering station. Now you can see I changed the connector there for a barrel jack, power barrel jack like this one that we have two wires, the outer and inner over there we have like that the outer is the green wire over here and the inner is the yellow wire over there so I have a spare uh, controller board over here which is exactly the same I using now here only that uh, because I show in that video that the soldering tip uh, iron tip was shorted and uh, burned by a uh, normal SMD MOSFET over there and I use now a different a MOSFET and it's still operating this board but I'm gonna show you how I connect it so we have the outer the green wire which I connected to the to the controller board in this point over there so you can see here it's connected over there the green wire which is the outer and the inner is the yellow that goes to be soldered to that point where it shows you S on the board over there. So if you can see in the controller board, there is a S over there. So there is the yellow wire over here. And like that, it will gonna show you when you put the iron tip to change the tip, it will gonna show you that you are changing the tip on the display. And when you put the iron on the stand, it will gonna go in sleep mode because no need power. It needs just to stay in how many degrees you select and you set up the board in uh, that uh, sleeping mode temperature. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a like. Please subscribe, activate the notification bell to don't miss my next project. And you're gonna find on the description down below the links for all the parts that you need to build uh, such a soldering station. It's you're gonna cost you really less more or less than how much costing a soldering station that uh, allows you to swap more tips like t245 t210 and t12 and i can see that the cheapest one that you can buy it ready to run is costing around uh, 80 pounds so definitely you're gonna find that buying these parts and building by yourself it's gonna cost you less until the next uh, next video guys have a good day and Bye-bye.